Welcome back to our photography problem solving series. Today we have a common issue that many ICM enthusiasts face – unintended camera shake. We've all seen those photos with uneven and distracting motion lines, creating effects that seem disconnected from the scene. It's time to tackle that issue head-on. In this video, I show you how to overcome this problem and achieve intentional camera movement with precise control. Let's dive in. Before we jump into the solutions, let's understand what causes unintended camera shake. It's a common mistake to move the camera just for the sake of movement without considering the scene's composition. However, Embracing definitive lines can make a significant difference in overcoming this challenge. Definitive lines refer to those bold and unmistakable elements present within the scene. By allowing those lines to guide your camera movement, you are not merely adding motion for the sake of it. Instead, you are seamlessly integrating the camera's motion with the scene's key elements. This approach results in a composition where movement enhances visual storytelling, capturing the audience's attention in a captivating manner. Now that we know that following the lines in the scene is the first step to success, let's address the actual movement of the camera. When we move the camera during exposure, the result can look messy if we are not careful and the camera shakes too much. As you can see, the image on the left looks much more pleasing to the eye than the shaky one on the right. So, how do we avoid this problem? The key to minimizing camera shake is improving camera stability. Here are some tips to achieve this. Stand with your feet about as wide apart as your shoulders. Make sure your weight is spread out evenly on both feet. This helps you stay steady and not wobble when holding the camera. Hold the camera using both of your hands and keep your elbows close to your body. This technique provides a solid foundation for your camera, reducing the chance of unwanted movement. Remember, the closer the camera is to your body, the more stable your shots will be. But wait, there is one more point to consider. Deciding when to open the camera's shutter. Should it be before or after you start moving it? I usually start the camera movement first, then press the shutter button. Employing this approach yields a more fluid appearance in photographs. While ICM relies on camera movement, using a tripod can be helpful. A tripod provides a stable base that anchors the camera, ensuring the intentional movement is deliberate and controlled. A gimbal head is a tripod head that offers additional flexibility and control, making it an excellent choice for ICM. Unlike traditional tripod heads, a gimbal head allows for smooth and fluid movement in various directions. This is ideal for executing controlled camera movement required for ICM. The gimbal's design lets you tilt, pan and rotate the camera easily, ensuring the movement is intentional and aligned with the artistic vision. Please remember, hand-holding the camera versus using a tripod for intentional camera movement is a decision that revolves around a combination of factors, including the desired outcome, exposure time, creative intent, and personal preference. Both methods offer unique benefits and challenges, allowing you to tailor your approach to achieve the desired aesthetic and visual impact in your intentional movement photography. With these tips and some practice, 
you will take stunning photos with total control over your camera's movement in no time. Now, get ready for our next episode, where we are going to explore another problem of intentional camera movement photography – lack of focus. Ok, this concludes this video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your photographer friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more photography tips and problem-solving techniques. Until next time, happy shooting!